Welcome to part 6 of Super Mario Bros. 3. We are now continuing on with World 5. And we just defeated two more Hammer Brothers. We are now going on to the next course. This course introduces another new enemy. Well, not really new, but... Well, it's a new enemy. And here it is. This is a Goomba's shoe. Which has a Goomba inside of it and a rise inside of a shoe. As you can see, it hops around. If you defeat it, it will it will drop its shoe and you can ride inside of it. And you bounce around inside. Uh, this makes things a really safe ride. Uh, thanks to the Goomba shoe, I can ride on top of these munchers. And I just lost it thanks to the piranha plants and the Venus fire trap. By the way, that that's what those enemies are called. Venus fire traps. Piranha plants that shoot out fireballs. I apologize that I haven't mentioned that before, but I don't know why I didn't. I guess I just didn't think about it. I'm glad that Bob Omb didn't blow up my mushroom. <laughs> but I don't think that would be possible. Well, it actually is not possible. And that is the end of that. This course is really dangerous. It is really, really dangerous, and uh, there's a lot of tight spaces. When it comes to roto discs and thwomps, and there are a lot of them. That wasn't a really good idea to jump into that. Oh no. Oh, I survived. Wait, what? Wait. That doesn't make any sense. Oh no. That did not just happen. Okay, there if there's one problem with getting hit, inconsistent invisibility frames. I really don't like that. Inconsistent invincibility frames is so awful. Not to mention the fact that I I got killed just by grabbing a mushroom. Wait, how did I touch you?
And we got another mystery item. And we just build a bridge. Now if you get a game over, you can just cut through this bridge. And you won't have to uh, do the first three stages. Or first two stages, if I should say. Now we are about to move on to this mystery tower. Um, from a distance, it looks like some kind of Swiss roll. Now, what you're trying to do is keep going up. In reality, in this game, this is a huge tower. Well, maybe not that huge, but... Well, just watch. And don't fall down. Oh, nothing like getting coins. I love collecting coins. I love doing that. I mean, it's just fun to swell the numbers. But sometimes I think it's a waste of time. Just sometimes. And now we are coming to the end of this... Um, huge tower. Like I said, isn't there's no boss. You guys have just found out why uh, this world is called what it is. It's called Skyland, and we are now in the sky. Just half of it is part of, um, giant land. Just half of it. Well, this is the rest of it. This is the rest of World 5. Or, uh, should I say, a continuation. Paragoomba, I don't like you, <laughs> and I'm glad you fell down. Oh, what's down here? Oh, it's a Tanuki suit. What's so special about this? Well, you can turn into a, a stone statue. And I just lost it. Oh. Dang it, I hate Venus fire traps. They're the bane of my existence. And you'd think that the red f the red piranha plants from Super Mario Brothers the Lost Levels was bad enough. But no. Either way, I got my Tanuki suit back. Take that Venus fire trap. And, oh boy, I really don't like this course. I really don't.
Oh, by the way, those flying um, shell enemies are called para beetles, which are part of the beetle family, so they're relatives of the buzzy beetles. That enemy is called a fire chomp. And fire chomps are relatives of chain chomps. They're a part of the chomps family. Um, by the way, I, I just learned that these enemies that are inside these coin blocks are called, um, Pile Driver Micro Goombas. And of course, micro means really small. Blackitude, don't mess with me! I'll see you in part 7.